What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today is the end slash beginning of the next week of guild activity. So every Sunday night, Monday morning, wherever you are in the world, the weekly resets for your guild, and that is a couple things we need to talk about. Number one are those chests. The chests are going to be very important, that's the first thing we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about battle drills, and we're going to talk about guild activeness because honestly the activist number that you see in your member list is important because most of the time that's going to tell you guys how many of those chests you are going to get so there's a couple things that are a little tricky uh and you might not be aware of so if you want to get everything you can out of your guild and get your hypogen and celestial heroes faster stay tuned to this hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's talk about guilds So you will notice when you log in today, or if you did already last night, you'll have a little exclamation mark by your guild. And that is because the week has reset and the guild chests are about to be distributed. Now, just keep in mind, I think today is the last day for your push and your victory in the uh, the battle drill. So make sure you guys are getting the battle drills done. And hopefully your guild is going to get in first place. Ours seems to be pretty close battle between us and Void. But I think we will make it to first place. Uh, so make sure that gets done and you'll get your rewards from there. But the guild chests are really the best part. It says after making a wish, there's a chance you'll acquire more wishing items. So there's two different chests you can pick from. One of them is the wish exclusive. Uh, this one I'd say unless you're a, like a spender you probably don't need to go for it just yet because these are going to be getting your exclusives on heroes that are very higher tier leveled up. If you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, if we take a look at one of our heroes here, you'll notice we have an exclusive unlocked and that actually happens uh, right here, our soul pack. So if you have them at mythic plus and you have their exclusive unlocked, well, to upgrade it, it does take resources at first takes the less harder ones the title ones and then it takes temporal essence so if you're really really pushing to go for exclusives that is probably the better option however being so early in the game my instinct is to say going for the hero recruitment resource is probably better you're going to be getting more summons you're going to be able to get your heroes to that mythic plus level uh whereas title essence is still useful for unlocking the hero's power uh which i think unlocks at legendary if i remember correctly or legendary plus one of the two uh so those can be useful me personally i'm gonna go for the wish hero mainly because i really want more stellar crystals i want to try to st start building our reinier but that's something more possible because we are a bit of a spender beyond that i believe no matter which one you pick you will also have general resources in there so dream fragments to get you more a level hero copies arena coins to get you your s level hero copies diamonds for more summons and then last but not least certainly not least the guild medals you can see we're almost to 30,000 already so we're gonna go wish recruitment and it says confirm to choose this one and open the chest yes so they did add a pretty cool animation here too I gotta admit it looks pretty slick here so uh yeah we do have this cool animation I like it it is not bad and we got let's see two epic we got 234 dolly tickets we got a regular we got some of these and more importantly this is what i really wanted to see how many we got were this we still got some title essence it looks like as well uh and we got a crazy amount of training manuals so if training manuals was something you were stuck on this is going to help you immensely absolutely immensely so just keep that in mind uh that's the first part right there so now that we have those resources, we can get a little bit more into detail about guild activeness and how you're getting them. So based on what you do every week, you will be contributing a certain number of chests to the guild. Just know if you're like one of the top uh, contributors, most of the time you don't get all of your chests back. Some of them are going to be going to others in your guild but you can see here the activeness percentage you have in your guild and that is what's going to allocate you a distributed amount now there are two different ways of doing this uh equal so if your guild chooses equal that just means everybody will get the same amount uh what we typically do is activeness ratio because this is based on how much you are playing the game and how much you are contributing to the guild in my opinion it feels like the best and most will do that and then there's glory points ranking chess will be distributed based on weekly glory points provided by players uh, members players with higher rankings will achieve more most people go with activeness and there is going to be a minimum here 
So it says details, there will be no chest distribution if less than three members meet that activeness. So you wanna make sure you do it. And of course, if you receive more than 35, uh, you'll just get additional guild coins. So you can see here, we have our activeness set to uh, 200. That is very, I mean, that's like one day's login reality. Like it, it's not much login at all, but how else does this add up? Well, if you come on over to the main menu here and you come on over to your quest system, you'll have your guild quest. And you'll notice based on the level of your guild, you'll have a weekly limit. You can actually increase that weekly limit by getting a higher tier guild. So if you didn't know about it, if you come over to the members here, it'll actually show you uh, the ranks and what benefits you get. So as you level your guild up, you get more guild quest capping, which is going to be very important. You get more guild store purchases as you go up. And I think when you get up to level six, it's like 7,000 guild coins uh, or guild crests you can get a, a week. And then on top of that, it lets you get the more amounts of guild uh, letters, the epic letters in the store. So if you don't know what we're talking about there, that's the limits that you can see here. And certain things unlock at different levels. Man, we are so stinking close. But keep that in mind. This is important for level, increasing that up. So if you wonder why I have stuff in the pouring and you don't, it's probably because you're in a lower level guild to start off. So that is the first part there. Number two is when you do come back over to the quest, even though you've already got your weekly cap, doing all these things matters. You want to cap all of these out as much as possible. Uh, these are going to be very important because even though you don't necessarily get them because you're already at the weekly cap, it says right here, guild metal exceed the acquisition limit, increase the metal capacity to get them via the mail. So if you do level up later on the week, you still get those medals. Uh, but doing these activities will give you a higher active ranking right here. This is the activeness. So one thing a lot of people are missing out on, and I even missed out on it a little bit at the beginning of uh, last week until I realized it. This one right here, Complete proxy or synergy battles times 20. There's a checkpoint for 5, 10, 15, and then this one is 20. These are important, but I had the assumption you had to do proxy and synergy battles within your guild. What you can actually do is do that with anybody around. So if you go over to here, yeah, you'll probably have some stuff from guild where I can actually like send heroes, give them reinforcements, and hey, look at that, live, I got the 20th one done. That is going to increase my guild activeness right there. So you'll notice I just went up uh, a decent amount. I went up to 680 and I went up like a couple ranks in my activeness. So that is important. But one place you can go is go to team up. These proxy battles and what you just saw, the synergy request where they're asking for a hero are the important ones. Now these you only get credit if you actually beat the battle, which let's be honest, sometimes it is an extremely tough battle because someone's been stuck at it and that's the main issue. But Getting 20 of those done a week is important because that is going to contribute to your guild activeness. And like I said, well, I mean, the whole point, the whole point of being in that guild is just so that you can unlock more of these Reinier copies. Like for real, we are so close. We'll probably get one tomorrow or something like that. Uh, because also keep in mind, being in an active guild is important too because all these challenges are done. You see, I have one, two, three, four challenges completely completed. I just have to wait from others in our guild to also complete it up to 15 people to then get my currency. So that's all we're waiting on to get our first Rhineer copy. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. If it helped you guys out, leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys next time.